Hi, Nikita Burdick, Mortgage Lender, and I want to go over a market update from uh, November through December 2nd, 2022. I have on the screen the UMBS Mortgage Backed Securities 30 year chart because we're going to go over three events that occurred, and each of those events in, um, created a pricing improvement. Yes, a pricing improvement. So the first one is going to be November 10th, and you're going to see this big, long green candlestick on November 10th. The next one's going to be November 30th, and you're going to see another pricing improvement right here. The last one is going to be December 2nd, and you're going to see another pricing improvement. All right, so first, on November 10th, 2022, we're talking about this one right here, the CPI released its new inflation numbers, and inflation increased by 0.4%, which was 0.2% below the expectations. Year-over-year year inflation declined from 8.2% to 7.7%. You'll see that there was a huge jump in pricing. Look at this big, long green candlestick on November 10th. Now, a green candlestick, if you want to know more about these candlesticks, I have a longer video on my YouTube. But green candlestick means that pricing improved from the day it opened from the previous day. And we can definitely see that pricing has improved from this day here. Now, the next thing to look at is this line, this black line is called a Fibonacci ceiling. And what happened is, is this candlestick broke above the Fibonacci ceiling. So we're in a new pricing realm. And this will give us, a, you know, that better pricing. How would you have liked to lock up here instead of way down here below that ceiling? You'll see that the, the pricing kind of flirted with this Fibonacci line going down and then going back up. Um, and then we see that it's kind of stabilizing above this line. So we're going to have, this is going to become the floor and there's going to be a new ceiling. Now, a market update will be given again next week because the Fed is meeting on December 14, 2022, and new CPI numbers are also releasing. So this is kind of an in-between market update. Now, the next event I want to go over is November 30th, which is this green candlestick right here. And what happened is, is the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell gave a speech on Wednesday, November 30th, 2022, and indicated that smaller rate increases might be in the future. And he alluded to the fact that that future would be as early as the December 14th, 2022 meeting. In fact, he specifically said it makes sense to moderate the pace of our rate increases as we approach the level of restraint that will be sufficient to bring inflation down. He added the time for moderating the pace of rate increases may come as soon as the December meeting. The stock market really loved this news and we saw the Dow was up 737 points or 2.818% is what the bonds rallied at. Now, I bring up the bonds because the 10-year treasury bond is going to move similar to the 30-year mortgage-backed security, and that's because they're both long terms. Even though 30 is much longer than 10, they're both still considered long-term instruments rather than short-term instruments. Now, I have a much longer video on my YouTube, but... What happens with the federal funds rate is a short-term rate. So the increases in the federal funds rate does not always mean that there's going to be a decline in rate pricing for mortgages because mortgage-backed securities is a long-term. <laughs> the federal funds rate is going to affect other short-term rates such as car loans or um, overnight bank rates and things like that. Okay, so... We have that one. Now, the third event I want to talk about is December 2nd, 2022, and that is this candlestick here. And on that day, the BLS, or the Bureau of Labor Statistics, um, released the jobs report. And it released that 263,000 jobs were created. There appeared to be a little bit of illusion in the market. And when I say that, that means that pricing actually was worse um, at first. So we see this long wick below the green candlestick. That means that pricing was bad. Pricing went all the way down here. So pricing actually got worse than the day before. The candlestick is green because pricing ended higher than the day before. It ended up here. So it was better slightly than the day before, but it did get worse. Now, why did it get worse? Well, the, you know, the, the market took this as a bad 
and report, but then it corrected because the market understood that there are some illusions here. And when I say that, what I mean is first, there was a lot of people reporting um, two jobs. So there was a lot of double counting. In fact, there was 165,000 people who reported holding two jobs um, versus an increase in 165,000 people versus just one job. Also, the birth and death ratio of businesses or establishment of new business, so that's the birth of new businesses or the dying of new businesses, um, accounted for 263,000, which this number can always be a little bit faulty, and the market kind of understood that. The next thing is that the ADP numbers was also released, and that is very telling because the ADP numbers has a sample size of 25 million. So it's like one out of every five and six workers versus one out of every 2,000 workers, which is the jobs report. That report only showed a gain of 127,000 jobs, so it was a much more modest. So the market was like, okay, this isn't as bad as we thought. We're going to go ahead and we're going to react differently, and we saw pricing get better. Now, on the screen, this market update is not really going into the December 5th, but pricing got worse. And there wasn't any significant event that happened on December 5th, but we do have the Federal Reserve meeting on December 14th and new CPI numbers coming out. So sometimes the market acts very volatile during these times right before we get these updates. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing a lot of volatility from now until that um, federal funds rate is released. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, that was it for the charts. I want to talk about money supply. And I want to talk about money supply because money supply is a big indication of inflation. So the first chart I want to bring up is this chart here. And we see that from 2021 to about 2020, there was a 40% increase in the money supply. In fact, if you take a look at the last seven months, there was... Um, a decrease of 1.5% in the money supply. This is the largest decline on record going back since 1959. Um, and this is a good indication that inflation is coming down. If we look at this chart too, we're going to see that um, 2022 is on track to be the first year where money supply has fallen three tenths of a percent year to date. This is also one of a large component showing that money supply is actually decreasing, which means we're seeing inflation slowing down. So are we entering a recession? Well, the NAR, who is the organization who officially declares whether we're in a recession, has not yet done so. But many of us feel like we are. All right. So last question. What everyone asks me, where are rates? Right. Mortgage Daily News, as of December 5th, 2022, had the average rate at 6.33% on a 30-year fixed loan. That usually means at least a 740 credit score. Um, and if you don't know, Mortgage Daily News is an organization where they take all the reporting agencies like Rocket Mortgage or whoever else, and they average the rates and they put it on there. You'd have to talk to your mortgage lender like myself or whoever you're using um, to see where your rate is based on how much you're putting down in your FICO or credit score. Um, they are, people are expecting, now we have no crystal ball so we don't know for sure, but people are expecting that mortgage rates will kind of return to the 5% realm in quarter one or quarter two of 2023. We're all hoping this is true. Um, there are buy-down programs you can use with your lender to try to get rates in that 5% right now. Um, so talk to your lender about that. I also have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel where we discuss these different options. Go ahead and follow, subscribe um, if for more information because the more you know will help you in determining what to do next. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day.